Greetings, Sean here at Mahalo.com, and today I'm going to give you an overview of Windows Live Writer and some of its features. To access Windows Live Writer, simply click on your Start menu. You can click on Windows Live Writer, or you can also find it in All Programs, then under Windows Live, and then Windows Live Writer. Now, Windows Live Writer is part of the Windows Live Essentials Pack, so if you have Windows 7, you can get it for free. Just download the Windows Essentials Pack. And with Windows Live Writer, you can create your blog offline and modify in a few different manners you might not be able to normally. Just as an example of some of the things you can do inside of Windows Live Writer, you give your blog a title, then you can add the context to your blog. You can also add pictures very easily. You can modify the pictures, insert a table. You can also post your blog as a draft. And something kind of nice about being able to modify your blog offline is you have more ability to control what you're posting. Down here in the bottom left, we have a preview, which will allow you to preview what you're about to post so you can see how it'll look on your blog, and also a source. This will just simply give you your source code, so the HTML code for the page you're about to post. So if you know HTML, you can jump right in and modify a few lines if you want. Also inside of Windows Live Writer, it's really easy to modify text. Being able to highlight, strike through, also changing the font, the font size. So Windows Live Writer is really great to give you the ability to fully see what your blog will look like and create it the way you want before you post it online. You can also work on a blog post offline. Let's just say, for instance, you're on a laptop and you don't have internet. You can simply prepare your blog and get everything ready. Then once you have internet, you can post your blog. And during this course, I'll be showing you some of the things you can do with this blog as far as posting galleries, video, hyperlinks, and giving you the ability to create a grade A blog for yourself. That's the basics of what Windows Live Writer does. If you'd like to stick with me as I explain to you more in depth as far as the things you can do inside of Windows Live Writer, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to rate and comment below. And thanks for watching.